Let's go through the startup of flow so we can really look at where the cold and hot fluids are flowing. Let's pay attention to the cold fluid first, which is on the left hand side of the screen and is colored blue. Here's the video in slow motion. Here are a few key observations about the cold flow. The cold comes in at the bottom and flows left at the bottom, right in the second lowest pipe, left in the second highest pipe, right in the highest pipe, and exits out the top. Now let's go back and pay attention to the hot fluid, which is on the right hand side of the screen and is colored red. The hot fluid flows through the inner pipes, which are made of metal, so watch the connecting curved pipe so you can see the direction of flow. Here's the video again in slow motion. Here are a few key observations about the hot flow. The hot comes in at the top and flows left at the top, right in the second highest pipe, left in the second lowest pipe, right in the lowest pipe, and exits out the bottom. Remember that the cold comes in at the bottom and exits out the top. This type of flow is classified as countercurrent flow because the hot and cold fluids are moving in opposite directions through the heat exchanger. In co-current flow or parallel flow, the hot and cold fluids would be moving in the same direction through the heat exchanger. Here are some thought exercises you can do on your own. Draw the flow patterns for the hot and cold fluid for countercurrent and parallel flows for this setup. Think about how this would change if we had a single pipe, like the cartoon below. If the hot fluid is entering from the left hand side, which direction would the cold fluid be flowing in countercurrent and parallel flow?